Hi there and welcome to my video today. Today I'm going to walk you through how to print on deli paper. The reason why I love it so much is because it gives me so many more options on how to create more collage for my artwork. So you can get royalty free images from the internet and just print them right on the deli paper and then it creates a little bit of a transparent image that you can layer in your work. So it's really been a game changer for me and I love using it in a lot of my artwork. Um, you could see here, I these are jelly prints that I made on deli paper. There's just so many uses for this paper. Um, these are other things that I could layer into my work as well, but I really love using this to print on and I'm going to show you how you can do it right from your home printer today. And before we get started, I just want to show you a few images that I printed on deli paper so you can kind of see what they look like. So this was just a basic plant that I printed out. I can easily collage that in. This is like an interesting signature that I like. It's kind of like um, in French, I'm not sure, but that can kind of be a cool little collage piece. And then this is a bird I recently printed out. I'm very into birds. And you could see this little guy it's a seagull holding up his foot. So I'm going to show you how to actually print this bird out or something similar on your own laptop. So what we have to do first is to obviously get whatever size deli paper you like. And all you're going to do is take a piece out and you're going to tape it to a piece of copy paper. What you can do when you're doing something like this is to plan ahead and think about maybe a few different images you want to print because then you have the whole page to actually print out some images. So first thing you do is just tape it down. I use scotch tape. Some people like using um, a glue stick, but I find that the scotch tape I put it exactly where I want it to be. You want to make sure that this little middle crease is flat down. Now the deli paper does have two different sides and you might want to experiment with it and see what you like best. There is a little bit more of a papery side feel on one and a little bit of a wax feel on the other. I have found to print on the paper side is much better for the images. Okay, so then at the top, I just try to put right at the edge so that it doesn't get caught in the printer, but it also doesn't interfere with the image. Okay. Okay, so now that we have the deli paper ready to go, and make sure it's laying flat. Ooh, everything's so sticky on here. What I'm going to do is show you on the computer how to kind of line up your bird so that it definitely prints on the paper. Okay, so here we are in Google Docs and I found this bird on the internet. You have to make sure that you use royalty free images so you don't have any copyright issues with your artwork, especially if you're planning on selling it or reproducing it. So what I do is copy an image and then I paste it in here or I save it, I don't know, on my hard drive and then I upload it and paste it in. There's so many different YouTube videos you can find to help you out with that. But generally you just have to get the image in here. And then what you want to do is think about where is that image actually sitting because we want to make sure it's in the middle so that it will print in the middle on the deli paper. Now you can always change the deli paper position and put it sideways and cut it to fit. So there's a lot of different ways to manage your images, but just for the sake of simplicity today, we're just gonna put it in the middle. So I'm just going to align and then I'm going to center align. So there's the bird right in the middle. And 
Next, all I do is go to File, Print, and this is actually a file that I keep of all different things that I want to print. So you can kind of see all other different birds and stuff. And I just put the page. Okay. Now the next step is important because you have to put the paper into your inkjet printer. So I'm going to show you what to do. But once you put the paper into your printer, you're going to come back here and press print. Okay. So let's go look at the printer. Okay, so here we are with my very basic HP OfficeJet inkjet printer. And what I'm going to do is open up the door. That's where I put all my paper in. Now you have to know how your printer prints, right? So you need to know if it prints on the top of the page or if when it shoots through, it prints on the bottom. So I know that I have to put whatever... I'm going to print on is going to be on the bottom and I have to put it face forward. So I would suggest you put the top face forward because that's already taped down and it won't get caught in your printer. So just slide it in and shut the door and then I go back to the computer and press print. Here it is, press print. And there's our bird. Okay, so now that we have the bird printed out, you can very easily just either pull it right off of the paper or you can just use a scissor and cut it off. But here we are, so you can just rip it off. And now we have, see how it's kind of translucent a little bit? It'll be great collage piece for any of your artwork. Now some things to keep in mind as you're using the inkjet image. If you use a medium to put your images down, like I do, what you want to make sure is that you don't go over it too many times. I tend to glue down with the medium and then I put another layer on top just so that the paper lays flat. So what will happen with the inkjet image is it will smear because it's just sitting on top of the paper. Now a way to resolve this is to use some kind of fixative or an acrylic sealer. So this is just a craft sealer, but you can get a better professional grade with Liquitex or Golden and it's called fixative and you just go outside and you spray a very um, light coat on top. And what that does is it kind of fixes the inkjet ink down so that when you do go over it with a little bit of medium, it won't smear. Another option is to use it backwards. Now it will dull the color of the picture a little bit, but if you're looking for a little bit of a less pronounced image, then you can flip it over. You'll put the glue underneath, put it on top, and then go over it and it won't smear. It does get a little brighter from the glue underneath, but it won't smear on top, so then the image will be intact. So these are just some things to think about when you're using inkjet images, but I hope that this helps you on your collage making journey. I love using deli paper. Um, and I hope that if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I love creating these videos for you and would love to hear what you like most about my videos so I can make more of them. So hope you have a great day and I will see you soon.